What is up fellow humans of the cardboard? Welcome back to Just Nuts guys. We've got a really cool card reveal for Animation Chronicle. This is an OCG set so we'll probably get this imported probably like Battles of Legend kind of situation. Um, but this is a really really cool card. I love the design on it. It reminds me of stuff like Last Will. Like I love those kind of old like realistic like card designs or artwork wise uh really really cool though this is called piri race map um it's a normal spell card and it is kind of crazy so here's how this card goes at the start of your main phase one add one monster with zero attack from your deck to your hand and if you do have your life points also you cannot activate the effects of cards with the same name as the added card until the end of the next turn after this card resolves or until you normal summon a monster with that name okay so long story short this adds any monster with zero attack pretty good a couple drawbacks here though obviously that couldn't exist without drawbacks uh it, you have to activate this on main phase one so you cannot really afford to play this in the same deck that you would play something like extravagance um but that's not the biggest deal in the world also having your life points is pretty brutal but at least you only have your life points if this resolves so if you're going to get ashed if your opponent's not going to let this resolve whatever uh you don't have to cut your life points so you're not paying cost that way which is actually pretty nice um and then obviously the, the end part this is the biggest restriction here you cannot activate those effects until not only this turn but the next turn um or until you normal summon it which really opens things up because it means you can just add normal summonable monsters with zero attack and use them because you normal summon them and i believe then you can even activate effects on normal summon um which is really important so really really interesting card here there's actually a handful of cards i've already looked at here i didn't pull them all up on here because you know I don't know, it'd take it forever. But I think about stuff like Anime Adorned, Archosaur, this it searches it. Um, Beautiful Princess, if fish decks ever become good, that's like one of their best normal summons, that becomes searchable. Dark Beckoning Beasts for the um, Sacred Beast structure deck, like that's like their best normal summon straight up. FA Auto Navigator, again, kind of specific, FAs are not that crazy. Four Mud Skipper, though, is a really interesting one. We've seen Crusadia decks that play Cru uh, Four Mud Skipper as their most impactful normal summon. Obviously, Code Talkers can play Four Mud Skipper as one of their most powerful normal summons. There's a handful of decks that would appreciate searching Four Mud Skipper. You also got Glow Up Bloom. If you're gonna, if the, you're okay normal summoning that in a zombie deck, that's actually not bad. Uh, you have Infinitrack Harvester for Earth Machine. That becomes a little more searchable there. Nightmare Corruptor Ibli. Before this, like I, we had even seen people playing like three Ibli, three uh, Mining, and just like ro rocking out with that. Well, maybe you don't have to commit to so many main deck copies of Ibli if you can play a card like this. Sure, you'll take half your life points, but if you're able to get three more searchable copies of Ibli or even four mud skipper, depending on what your hand looks like, that could actually be something kind of cool. Um, you also have Magician Souls. Um, this is a fat hold on. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, he um, he can't activate in hand to summon, but you can normal summon him, so fine. Uh, now you have the Ogdoatic Remnant. You can normal summon her to get a search of a spell or trap there rika petal is another one um if plants ever become good that actually could be one of like the random like good plant cards that become like their best normal summon um apart from obviously like lone fire but lone fire is not zero attack but that's pretty cool same thing with the sun vine sun seed cards like literally all of the all of like the vanilla monster that you need to play shadow um and then there's like the twins and there's like one more even for them and they're all zero attack um, that's actually not bad at all because that's like a combo deck so if you just are willing to pay half your life points uh, this adds so much more consistency of just being able to get to that like vanilla or one of the extenders if that's what you need uh, that's actually pretty good um, and then you also have the weather painter snow uh, actually the best starter in weather painters but it's never been super searchable i mean it was searchable off of the other spell but that spell required you to already have a weather painter on field so you'd like take your normal summon to search a normal summon and then you just have to wait till next turn that's awful this card can search uh, snow immediately and then 
um, you know, get her live, which is pretty good. And the last thing I might as well mention is Zodiac Rap here. That's a one of that was searchable by via Tanky and Barrage, but you never really want to barrage it out. Uh, so technically four copies before now, technically you could play seven if you wanted. I don't know. Kind of cool. Um, those are just the options I saw skimming through real quick. I literally skimmed for like five minutes, all the, you know, zero attack monsters in the game. Um, Hand traps don't really work here. You just got to consider that, that you can't activate that card's effect, whatever you're searching, until the end of the next turn. So even though you're like, Droll, we can search Droll. No, it's, it's not that good. You can search Ash, Bell, Ogre. You know what I mean? None of them are just good though, because they're not going to be live for your opponent's turn. It's pretty bad. So um, I guess you could also potentially search um, a card that can be like an amazing follow-up play on the next turn but you know that just feels weird to me like Yu-Gi-Oh is way too fast for that um because if you if you play cards like this you're gonna give your opponent a chance to set up multiple multiple disruptions after breaking your board and then like how are you combating what's going on there you're just probably not um so yeah uh still a really cool card though i do think this is cool in a lot of strategies the life points are tough the restrictions are tough, but I do think decks that just have these normal summons that they can't, that they have trouble opening as often and maybe consistency wise they struggle. This card's actually pretty damn nice for them. So we'll see if this ever comes up, but uh, really, really crazy card. So that's going to do it for me here today, guys. Thank you so much for watching as always. Oh, you know what sounds crazy? What if Konami ever came out with like a Kaiju with zero attack? This could search a kaiju with zero attack. Kaijus don't activate their effects. <laughs> they just, it's just like a summoning condition. Um, and then you, you could use this going second to like search a kaiju and kaiju over your opponent. That'd be crazy. Oh, technically, ooh. You can search sphere mode, I think. Isn't sphere mode zero attack? I can't remember if sphere mode zero attack or it has like a hundred attack or whatever. Um, That'd be crazy, because I think he's the, he works the same as a kaiju. Very interesting, actually. Because you may activate this, and they're like, uh, if I let it resolve, he's going to lose half his life, and he's some, getting something that's so restricted. Like, whatever, I don't care. And then you search streamer, and they're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. Very interesting. This card's super interesting. We'll, we'll, I think we'll see this come into play at some point. It's just going to need to be a very specific situation. Uh, deck building wise but very very cool otherwise let me know in the comment section down below as obviously i told you i skimmed pretty quick looking at like options for this card if there's anything you think that's like actually really interesting with this card let me know what's searchable off this that you think could be really spicy um and and could work out in your favor um but other than that guys i'm gonna nerd off here thank you so much for watching as always subscribe to the channel stay up to date on all Yu-Gi-Oh news it feels like we've been in this like this drought of Yu-Gi-Oh news like legit news um we've been getting like a couple like one animation chronicle card here and there um and that's not even our set uh, but we've got Burst of Destiny stuff coming. We've got all of King's Court to be revealed. We literally have nothing from King's Court. We're going to get, I know there's going to be some banging reprints in there. Obviously, the, the Musketeer cards are going to be clean. Uh, and then also, they are. They said there's going to be support for other 2021 archetypes in there as well. So there's so many things like that we have coming. Uh, I'm honestly shocked that we haven't gotten more news over the last couple, last like one or two weeks. But Obviously, I'm staying on it, still trying to get you videos, and I can, talking about cool discussions and stuff like that. But, yeah, that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to get the hell out of here. Peace.